Hello and welcome. This is Wise Exotics. I'm your host, Trevor. This is January 2024, uh, beginning video for the log of this year. Uh, if anybody has questions, please post them in the comments as they come up if, as you're watching. Uh, you can also hit me up on Instagram and chat with me there. It's Wise Exotic, one word, if that makes it easier. I'm also planning to start selling some plants this year just to make a little room in the collection. I'll have a Google Sheet thing up so people can look at that. Uh, USA only, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to deal with importation and all that other fun, exportation fun stuff right now. Anywho, um, if you're new to my channel, um, these are my plants. They're carnivorous vining species. Uh, they're f really fun to grow. I find them quite interesting. For those, again, who are new to the channel, uh, I have a glass room that's connected to my dining room. So dining room, glass room. This is all tiled, and underneath this is concrete. Uh, this is made 20 plus years ago. Uh, in this room, there are two lovebirds, Bonnie, Clyde, Sweet Pea, which is a little parakeet, or whatever they are. Sweet little bird. Uh, and then we've got Hummer, who's in this corner, sorry. And then we got Polo. Hummer and Polo like to watch TV all day, so they've got Monk on, yeah, they've got Monk on 24-7. I do turn it off at night so they get sleep, but they like to watch it. And then there's Bonnie. Uh, so let's see, nothing really crazy going on with the collection. Nothing new that comes to mind. If, if I can think of anything later as I'm going down the road with this, I'll bring it up. But um, no bad news. Plants seem to be doing quite well. We had a bit of a rainstorm and tropical storm hit California. Um, but no issues. They weathered through the cold fine. Some of the plants seem to actually enjoy the colder, more humidity in the air. <laughs> so there's that. I've shifted a few of the plants around. As you can see, the VCI were in the front here. I moved them more toward the back just so they can dry a little bit. I was noticing they were tending to be a little waterlogged, and I don't like that. I want them to dry. So this tray dries from the back to the front, and when it's dry in the front, I water a little bit let it flow through and that's just what I do add a little water at a time I don't water the plants directly I do a little misting and spray sometimes but for the most part I just let the humidity keep them watered and that seems to make them quite happy most of these plants are epiphytes which means they live up in like say the moss in a tree so they tend to not need a lot of water logging to keep them alive they just need a good amount of moisture to, keep, to help produce the pitchers which they're so well known for which are their traps as an example. That is a Loei Fichii clipiata. Um, if you're wondering what species are in my collection, please refer to December 2023 N video. I literally went through every species in my collection. It was quite uh, intense. Um, Vichii K1 XM2 is still developing this new picture, and so is Vichii B and Vichii B. <laughs> All the plants that are Vichii seem to have not thrown any new pictures out, but they're keeping their old pictures and just slowly progressing over time. A lot of the plants are developing and doing quite well. We got a lot of little pictures, a lot of little traps at the side. I did move the truncata out. It's got a bit of a flare at the tip now, little flare points, which is nice. Uh, Raja Peltata had a big uh, trap. I did post that on Instagram. I was trying to get a picture of it with UV lights to, to see the stripes better, but the UV flashlight died or failed. I have an email and hopefully get it replaced. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to shift over to the tank setup. Hello and we're back. Now I know a lot of people are asking me about my setup and what I'm doing. I live in a valley so I get natural temperature drops at night so I don't really have to worry about the cold air part with cold cooler nighting that people are always worried about. I live in a valley. It does it naturally. I don't have to worry about that. Mainly my setup is lights, water, and, you know, humidifier at the most for the open air. But just lights. I use Sansi lights or these really cheap ones I picked up on Amazon. Uh, I've had those for two to three years and the plants grow fine with them. So there's that. Let's see. Uh, Edward Sian just opened its newest picture over here. This is a seed ground specimen that I've been calling Scarlet. Doing quite well. Initially, it was very traumatized from when I initially got it, but doing well. Macrophilia con T, just threw a picture, 
Uh, it's got another one down there. Now macros are interesting. You see how that leaf looks tiny in the middle, that new one? It'll actually do that, look like it's getting a leaf short, like a leaf reduction, and then it'll sprout and grow to full size within a couple weeks after. It's really interesting. Um, my seed grown macro, which has been struggling through slug attacks and all that other fun stuff. I think root rot also. Uh, still is with us, still doing well. Uh, well the Cantlii, number, or letter B, I should say. I have one and two, or A and B, whichever you prefer. Uh, it just threw us and opened its newest picture. Uh, Nebularum did the same thing. Very similar, but not quite the same yet. Uh, Eschenberg guy, Mariliana seems happy where I moved in on its newest lake. It was getting a little scorched, a little too much water. Uh, the plant I got from Greenwood Exotics. Doing crazily well. Sorry about that. Talking to the bird, he was getting a little upset I wasn't giving him some attention. Anywho, um, Velosa, doing better. Got a bit of a picture jump, slow to grow plant. The Amatas are doing quite well. Uh, here's a good comparison. I know a lot of people don't show them next to each other. The Lumet Hamada is a little more stout, narrow at the tip, but the Tempus Sissy is more squat with a more flared opening. So, quite interesting. Bongs are doing quite well. Inventis Raja, got a third pitcher developing there, and the fourth one just thrown out of its leaf. Let's see, this one is doing really well. Has a nice picture jump, good teeth and striping on that one. That's Raphalegiana, XX Timbia, X Northiana, X Vichii, X Epiphytica. This is from Sachev Nepenthes. He has these on eBay. Sometimes he does this all in house, so quite nice. Bashiana is doing well. Sumatrana. Finally looks happy on its newest leaf. It does have a picture, so it's just a really slow to acclimate one. My Naga has a very nice larger picture doing quite well there. The unknown plant, which is a species I'm not sure because it was an unknown tag. I bought it for 15 bucks. It's just growing. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's growing. I know it's a Nepenthes, so there's that. Um, Pudica right here, newest trap developing quite well. Uh, Cirrusia has new pitchers, new leaves. Those pitchers tend to inflate and grow a little slow, but they haven't popped yet. The one I got from Josh, which is available on the site there, is the tag, joshuskinervousplants.com. Uh, he sent this to me as a care gift during my cancer treatment and when I got over cancer, hopefully, knock on wood, you know, that stays. Uh, I get a scan in March to see how I'm doing. I know I was clear in December still, so there's that. This one is getting a reddish leaf, which is quite interesting. I mean, this one, as you can see, has like a red spade leaf. They start green and then they just fade to red. It's not a burn, it's just the coloration this one seems to get. Similarly, uh, Timbu Sissi Hamada, which is this one, gets a redder leaf in direct sunlight, where Lumets tend to not do that. So, there's that. Uh, this is just a fish tank, and I have an acrylic top. I, all I do to keep this uh, is I do that. It leaves a little gap at the corners. It's not fully shut, so I can put my finger under here. And it lets a little bit of air in and escape just to cycle the air so there's some circulation. And I have a simple spotlight here that's a Sansi single light. It manually turns off by itself because I have a timer hooked to it. Uh, but their newer ones do have a timer set up on them right here, as you can see. I have a humidifier, I have lights. I get people who ask me about my setup all the time. I'm in a low, I'm in a lowland-ish area. It's called the Salad Bowl, you can look it up. It's a big valley. I get an ocean breeze that hits throughout the day and especially at night, which helps drop the temperature down. So my temps outside drop anywhere from 50 to 30 during the winter. But in here, because of an oil heater, that's over in the corner. Oil heaters are very efficient, if anybody's wondering. Uh, it's an oil space heater. It keeps the air in here 55 or higher. Um, and it, it just helps the plants and the birds and the snakes out. So nothing new. Uh, quite a few of the pictures pop, so those will be interesting to see as they fully open and color out. Um, no news beyond that. 
Um, I'm thinking of throwing a Google sheet up on my Instagram that'll have what plants are listed for sale. I'm just gonna put a few on there and try to make some space, give the other plants a little more breathing room and place to stretch out. That's about my only intent for it. So uh, I wish everybody a good and happy new year and talk to you all later. Trevor out.